I got a quick statement to say, and probably might gross you out, but if you eat three meals a day, but you don't poop three times a day, your digestive system might be a little backed up, but it's okay, because the plumber is here to help you out. The slash me, and today we're talking about poop. I want to point out something that's obvious. It's completely natural for you to poop multiple times a day, especially if you eat multiple times a day, it will make complete natural sense for you to poop three times a day. Now you're not going to go that day. You're probably going to go the next day. But still, if your body is healthy, you should be going as much as you're eating, right? So if you only eat one meal a day, you're probably only going to be going one time a day. But if the amount of times you go to the bathroom don't match up with the amount of times you sit down at the table to eat a meal, then you've got some issues. Now listen up. Listen up, because here's some truthful tips that can help out some of you guys out there. First thing you got to do is look at your diet. Look at the foods you eat regularly. How much of the foods that you're eating are live? Live fruits and vegetables. And when I say live, I mean like fresh. Not ones that have been cooked down and put into a jar, been sitting in there and don't expire till 2024 or something. That's not what I mean by live. Live means that if you sit it on the counter, in a warm counter, it'll start getting moldy or decomposing. That's live. If it sits on the counter and doesn't get moldy or decomposed, there's not much life in it. So if you got lost in all that, how many live fruits and vegetables do you eat regularly? This is important because fruits and vegetables contain vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, enzymes that are great. For detoxing and clearing out your digestive system not your digest not just your digestive system but your whole body as a whole down to the cellular level all the cells the whole body benefits from fresh fruits and vegetables but i'm talking about using the bathroom three times a day if you're eating three times a day you should be going three times a day next look at how many processed foods you're eating how much stuff are you eating that comes in a package comes in a bag a jar it's got a list of uh, ingredients and ingredients that you can't read or spell or say if I asked you to whole bunch of ingredients where you wouldn't know what it is even if you can pronounce it tell me where they get red number four or yellow number six and all that stuff where where's that come from do you know if you don't know it's time to do some research artificial foods and processed foods are like the opposite of fruits and vegetables fruits and vegetables are live and they're grown and they're full with live enzymes as well as other properties that are meant to benefit your body but highly processed foods artificial ingredients slow your body down they're gonna clog you up so what i mean by that is foods with trans fats high fructose corn syrup ingredients you can't read foods that have zero digestive fiber as well as zero water in it and it's vitamin and mineral deficient so that's like the opposite of type of stuff that your body needs for good digestion or something that would be considered good digestion so if all the food you're eating comes processed or comes devoid of life no wonder you can't use the bathroom so try these tips to help get your metabolism going. Tip number one, increase your fruit and vegetable intake. Obviously, right? Fruits and vegetables contain live enzymes, which are good for digesting. It's like you taking in something that's taking extra little bites of your food and it's helping your body transfer it from its current state into another state that's more beneficial for your body to use. Whether it's helping your body digest it or helping it break down the food, Fruits and vegetables just have properties that artificial and processed food, fast foods just don't have. Next thing, incorporate fibrous foods. So foods that have good fiber. So sweet potato, that's filled with plenty of fiber. Pears, filled with plenty of fiber. Oranges, fiber. But the benefit of fiber is it goes through your digestive system kind of like, uh, like a rag wiping against a wall or something. The wall being the outer wall of your intestines. On the inside of your intestines, there's an outer wall. And from the outer wall is where your body pulls in nutrition. So it sucks out the nutrition 
from the stuff that's that's inside the gut. So the outer lining of the intestine becomes lined in gunk, especially when people spend years and years eating artificial foods or fast foods or just everything that's processed, nothing natural, no fruits and vegetables, no natural fibers, no enzymes. When people eat only like that, their body gets stuffed up stuffed up on the lining as well as stuffed up within the gut itself i'll give you an analogy something to compare it to consider a pipe if a pipe starts getting corrosive and starts gathering materials on the edge of the pipe inside it along the wall of the pipe pretty soon it's going to get harder for things to flow through it just like your arteries when cholesterol gets stuck up in there in certain spots and you get clogged up arteries. What do you think clogged up arteries is? Clogged up arteries is similar to your clogged up gut. Because of years of abuse to your body and eating the wrong foods that's meant for your body and your lifestyle and your diet and your genetics, buildup takes place. Build up along the edges and slows things down. In your arteries, it slows your blood down. In your gut, it slows down the food. And it becomes way less efficient. Because think of it this way. Now your gut, the outer wall, is coated with a whole bunch of film of food and everything. So when you're eating the food, your body can't even digest because it's so filled and contaminated. It's so dirty. It hasn't been cleaned out in for years. You don't eat food with fiber. So the outer wall, the area that's supposed to suck the nutrition into the body, it can't do its job. So what do people do? People keep eating and they keep getting more and more backed up. You can see some people, they could take their shirt off and it's almost like you can see their abs on top of their big belly. Like they'll have a big belly but it won't just it won't be a bunch of fat because they'll be a hard working person. It won't be fat. It'll just be bloating. Like just their gut will just be like just out out to out to here. Next thing you can do, just simply eat less. Eat less of the bad foods, more of the good foods. So you want to start moving to the whole 80-20 rule. 80% of your food should be good, and you get like a little 20% to make some bad decisions. That's that's it. But if you're in a bad situation, you might need to be a little more strict and just go 100% for a while, you know? Which leads me to my next tip, fasting. Daily fasting or intermittent fasting or switching to one meal a day. This is a technique I talk about in one of my previous videos, like a couple of videos back. You put, I got a picture right here. I talk about the technique of eating one meal a day or intermittent fasting. This technique is great for aiding you in clearing out your gut. So you spend most of the day not eating, as archaic as it sounds. <laughs> Trust me, it gets better. So you get the benefits of hormone balance. You get to clear out your gut. You get to use stored fat as energy. And you get to make your body more efficient. So like I said, clearing out your gut, that's the thing you need to do. Because your body's so backed up that it's going to take a while for that to clear out and if you keep on eating at the same rate that you've been eating in then it's never going to be able to get cleared out you have to give yourself a break and just let your body digest and just start pushing stuff out eat things that are going to help you poop more don't eat things that are going to back you up more so when you do eat you need to be eating foods that promote I'm sure this video was useful for somebody if you stayed all the way to this point. So go ahead and hit the like button for me. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. And share this video to anybody you think could use it. I'm sure you know somebody. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.